All right. What is going on, my dudes? So we are back here today with a very exciting video for me. We have the Lord. The Lord. The Lord himself. Diablord going up today. Now, funny enough, man. Um, like I said in my arena results video, if you saw it, right? Just last week, I uploaded the video and I was like, I very rarely take champions from rank one to rank three. And that still holds true. I'm just happening to do it two times over the span of five days, right? Um, but it's still true. So um, what we're going to be doing here today, essentially, oh, we have so much nice mystic stuff. So first, let's claim this is we're going to be taking our new toy all the way up to rank three from rank one. We just claimed him from the inventory, which is just absolutely lovely right so we just got him the second that this guy's buff info went live i was like i didn't even have him as a five star at the time i was like i know that the, i can at least grab you know the five star from the arena right but i was like man i really want this guy as a six star like i have so many buffs all the time as six stars but like this guy just seems insane and there's been some like really amazing videos on this guy uploaded by a bunch of people. And at the end of the day, Diablo might just be one of the most suicide friendly champs in the entire game. Now, his sig ability certainly makes him even more suicide friendly. His sig ability also very easily allows him to auto fight Realm of Legends, Winter Soldier and whatnot. It's a little bit harder for him to do so unduped, right? However, we'll get him duped eventually and I don't need to auto fight with this guy ever. I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. But we have this Mystic T5CC. We only have one of them. We're like close to halfway to another one. When it comes to Mystic Champs, I have almost every Mystic six star. Almost every single one. I'm only missing in the basic pool, Mojo and Mordo and Sorcerer. That's it. Obviously not going to rank three Mordo. I'd consider Mojo if I can get him to a high sig, and Sorcerer is not my favorite champion. Uh, the rest of the champs are either in the featured or trophies are not out yet, right? Now, I'd like to rank two Ebony Maw for fun and Doctor Strange for fun. Morningstar could be useful for the future, right? And then I have Sasquatch, The Hoods, Symbiote, Longshot, and Tiger all at rank two. And I honestly believe all five of those options are wonderful rank three candidates. But how many of them are suicide friendly? Not many. Not many. Look at my rank threes. Doom, because I mean, come on, he's Doom. He's Dr. Doom. We don't have to talk about that. And then Dragon Man and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Two of the most suicide friendly champs in the game. Now, Mystic Champions as a whole aren't too suicide friendly. Look at this group. How many of these champions would you want to run with suicides? Ideally, can you? Yes. But like ideally, not many. I'd say it's not worth using Black Widow, Dragon Man, or Diablo if you don't run suicides. And I always do. So while Tigra might be a better champion than Diablo, Diablo is going to be more beneficial for my personal account. And that's where preference and account info comes into play when it comes into rank ups. Okay. So today we're taking Diablo up to rank three and we've held on to this catalyst for quite a bit. So I'm glad to finally use it on this guy because I didn't know he was coming to the arena. I definitely didn't know if I was grinding for him in the arena, but I kind of wanted that catalyst to have his name on it, man. And now we have a rank three Diablo on the account and it's just it feels pretty darn cool man because i like diablo as a character i always have i'm a really big fantastic four fan okay i have i back in the day i had all the fantastic four at rank five back when tier five basic was still kind of rare right i used all my tier five just so i can have the fantastic four ranked up um i have namor at five star rank five and six star rank three i have both of them right uh, he came out with the Fantastic Four. He has Fantastic Four synergies. Um, and now the only Fantastic Four champions I don't have ranked up are Annihilus and Super Scroll. Well, I would rank up an Annihilus as a six star to rank two at least. I don't know if I could do Super Scroll, but maybe he'll get the Diablo treatment in the future. 
where of course i've got mole man too one of my favorite champions i have at rank three but i have most of the fantastic four villains now ranked up which is pretty awesome man. and I, I would do annihilus just to have them just to have mole man diablo and annihilus right and namor was the other villain that came out with invisible woman right i think that's kind of funny i didn't even realize that i forgot that mole man was a part of that so we finally have this guy and it's more than just diablo diablo also has oh his pi is so low pretty good wow he's he's very low pretty good synergies with some of my top champions Dr. Doom, he has an amazing synergy for here. Check it out. Uh, heavy attacks are guaranteed critical hits. Amazing synergy for Dr. Doom. I always use five-star Nihilus for that. It also gives Mr. Uh, Diablo here, you know, some critical damage rating, which is okay, which is definitely not bad. Um, but also, he has the best synergy for Dragon Man. This is Dragon Man's most important synergy, in my opinion. And it also gives Diablo Philosopher's Mix, gains plus 20% duration, which is nice. Additionally, Vials of Might grant plus 10% special damage. Also, he gives probably my next rank three champion, spoiler alert, maybe, Kingpin. A pretty nice synergy as well. Over here, gain one rage each time the opponent nullifies a buff. Not bad, but for Diablo is really cool. Personal poison debuffs become passive and gain plus 10% potency, right? So that's a pretty cool synergy that allows Diablo to pretty much have his full damage on like debuff immune matchups and stuff like that. And then funny enough, he actually has a terrible synergy with Mole Man. It's terrible for Diablo, because as you can see, 20% chance to purify a debuff, and that includes the poison. You can purify the poison that heals you the entire time, right? But for Mole Man, great synergy. While Frenzy Mole Man's attacks lower defensive ability actually by 50%, fighting against the Fantastic Four. Essentially, what that's going to do is it's going to make it so, like, uh, Mr. Fantastic won't really evade you. The thing won't really gain rock stacks. Um, Torch, nothing really going on there much. Maybe the shock or the, the special one won't give him a smolder. And uh, Invisible Woman won't go invisible when you knock him down, right? But we're actually going to go ahead and take Mole Man off the team for this quick little damage showcase, just in case. We'll put Mr. Fantastic on the team because why the heck not, right? Um, so yeah, let's jump in and let's, uh, let's do a quick little Realm of Legends fight, man. But look at all, the, guys, look at all the freaking poison damage here that has to be bugged because okay that's got to be i don't know if all the passive ones if they're supposed to be passive and active that seems like it's bugged what i was going to do is i was going to get the special two and end the fight but that looks like a bug but a very strong bug all right so that bug was pretty funny but <laughs> you know i want to record you know, some footage for you guys with a not bugged Diablo because he's just as good without the bug, all right? So um, let's talk about his pre-fights really quickly. He has three of them, okay? And uh, one of them I really like, the other two are okay, very situational. The first one, Distilled Will, very situational. Philosopher's Mix will heal Diablo for a percentage of energy damage uh, taken, Essence of Null, while active Philosopher's Mix has a chance to nullify one buff every two seconds. This is freaking insane. This nullify is insane. Let's just say that. Grain of Uru, while active, Philosopher's Mix grants immunity to stun effects and armor break debuffs. That's super situational. This is like going to be the most situational example ever. Silver Surfer on path four in section two of Alliance War, where you need a champion who is immune uh, to armor break debuffs. That's when you use this, right? Otherwise, man, Essence of Null is so good. Also, these things... They also um, give different effects on the special three. The first one, you gain a regen passive, allowing you to regen even more health. You really don't need it. As in the null, you place 10 detonate buffs on the opponent, which lasts 20 seconds, deal a burst of 564 energy damage when they expire with Mystic Dispersion, really good. And then Grain of Uru, Philosopher's Mix is paused for 10 seconds. That's pretty nice for sure. Um, the only downside to using one of these is that for each vial of might, you know, you gain two additional poison debuffs in the special three. So basically you have to use two additional special attacks, okay? Um, so most of the time, you really don't have to do this. You don't have to use a, a pre-fight, but I'm going to go with the Essence of Null here just because um, I really like how Mystic Dispersion interacts with the uh, Nullify from the, the Vial of Might or whatever it's called, right? So we're going to go with that. Now, keep in mind, we're going to have to throw an additional two special ones for an optimum uh, special three, but that's literally okay because one thing I want to show up here is just his regen in normal situations. Now, the way that Diablo works is he has a 75% chance to place a poison 
Tyson debuff on his second medium attack, okay? He also has a 100% chance to place a poison on both hits of his heavy attack, okay? One, two, boom, all right? Now, you'll notice I use a special one, right? But look at my health, full yellow bar. Full yellow bar, all the way. And now, um, if you interrupt his drinking on the special one, by the way, you're going to gain another one of your vial of might, which is what you need, okay? Especially when you go for a pre-fight. You want to get to eight, ideally, right? But you'll notice that even without using, like, any big special attacks, by big special attacks with Diablo, I mean special two, special three, okay? You'll notice that Winter Soldier is already down to 60% health. He has 10 freaking poisons on him right now. We used, by the way... Four special ones, that would be 20% recoil, okay? Look at our health, full freaking yellow bar. It is literally insane. And his damage is really good. So his basic hits, in my opinion, they hit fine when they crit, and his heavy attack hits fine when it crits, and his poison is really darn good. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go for a parry. Okay, in one second, we're gonna go for a parry. Check it out, boom. And now, I'm gonna go for a special three. And this should place 16 poisons on the opponent because we have eight vials of might, okay? These are gonna be ticking pretty darn hard. If we can get to a special two, we'll throw it. But let's see, he might be dead before. Now we have our Philosopher's Mix up, and you can see we're nullifying these buffs here. And with Mystic Dispersion, that's really fun. Only have three out of five of them. He's gonna, he's gonna be dead before we get to the special two. Yeah, um, crazy, crazy. So that was 500,000 health, right? And there, there, there was basically no point in using that pre-fight because essentially we could have finished that fight uh, so much faster just going right to the special. I, I did it so I could show you the buff nullification after the special three, how much fun it is and everything like that. Um, but poof, his damage is so good and, 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 and his sustainability is insane. Look at his health, man. I used four recoil special attacks and he heals it like it's nothing. With his SIG ability, he takes less damage from recoil, by the way, which is just crazy to me. So I definitely want to get this guy awakened, but honestly, even unduped, he's an absolute madman. Absolute freaking madman this guy is. So I actually have one more fun fight with Diablo I want to show you guys. Um, this was like one of the first fights I did with him, right? I just got him. I took him to rank three. I took him into AQ, YOLO, right? And this is going to be a double linked boss. Double link. That means like plus 600% uh, health plus however much attack. Let's take let's take a look here, okay? So it's going to be, uh, there's a mini boss, power struggle, true strike, power snack, villainy, tyranny, champion boost plus 600% attack and health and also acid wash. So obviously, right? Uh, Diablo is going to be so good on acid wash, okay? We're not going to go for any of these. I was just looking, I was thinking, I was like, do I need any of these? Probably not really, right? Um, so I'm going in here with this guy. Plus 600% attack and health. My initial plan was to get him in the corner, right? And uh, just chain heavy attacks. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so freaking cool, man. Um, Cause I do that with Hercules on this guy occasionally. Um, but it turns out that when you go to cheese this, for example, with him, you can sometimes get two in a row like like this, maybe even potentially three in a row like this, but now I'll push back a little bit. So I can't really do that um, over and over and over like I can with other champions, but that's okay because look at the poisons going, man. Now keep in mind, Acid Wash, he's so good for Acid Wash and Acid Wash is such a specific node. So like I said, okay, there's gonna be a decent bit of block damage here because 600% attack increase on this guy. 600% attack and also 600% health, okay? Um, and this is a AQ mini boss. So keep in mind, by the way, that if he was unlinked, we wouldn't be taking all this block damage. Um, he would be close to dead at this point from uh, just the poisons. Now the acid wash is increasing our poisons just a little bit, um, but it's just, he's one of, in my opinion, the most fun champions to play nowadays, ever since his buff. I feel like the buff on this guy is just so good. It was so well done. Um, that he's just enjoyable to play. Uh, if you look at, I'm, I'm healing 206 health every second, which is a decent bit, man. That's a thousand health in five seconds. And his max health is like, uh, 
I don't know, 33,000, maybe off the top of my head, completely guessing there, right? So in five seconds, if you gain what? What do what they even just say? In five seconds, you gain a thousand health. In uh, one minute, you would gain 20,000 health. So from willpower, man, as long as you're not taking hits to the face, like in a normal quest, you're gonna be healing like crazy in a 60 second fight. It's, it's really insane, man. It really is crazy. The only downside to him, which isn't a downside for me, is that if you don't run the suicide masteries, it's kind of like, for example, man, Corvus is not really, and Omega Red aren't super amazing without the Suicide Masteries. I'm going to put Diablo in that crew um, because he's not going to have this regen without the Suicide Masteries on, dude. Um, so if you want to rank Diablo up, you got to be running the Suicide Masteries to, to, to have this much fun with him, man. Because uh, his damage is already decent. It goes up like crazy, and it's very hard to die with him. Um, so it, it's just crazy, man. I'm so happy to have him at rank 3. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy to have him at rank three, man. So, you know, it's been a bit now. Um, at this point, I'm re-recording the second half of this video because I did the first half with like that bug and everything. And then I did some AQ later on. I said, I kind of want to throw that in there. I also have another Diablo video going up of, um, I know it's already been done, but of uh, like a 6.2 champion boss. I haven't seen it done with like a rank three. He ends, no joke, at a full yellow bar of health. I don't think I've ever seen that before against the champion. So go check it out. Gonna be pretty cool. Don't think I've uploaded it yet. But this guy, man, is so much fun. So much fun, man. Uh, so happy to have him at rank three. He has synergies with most of my the champs that I use very often. Not most. A lot of the champs that I use very often. I shouldn't have said most. Um, and he's just so much fun to play, dude. He's so much fun to play. And I can't wait to use him in the future. Whenever there's like a poison node, I'm going to go with him, man. And I have so many other poison champs ranked up now especially with the new penny parker synergy coming out for this guy too yeah um but diablo man lots of fun super happy to have him at rank three but yeah that's gonna be it for this video my dudes if you enjoyed it drop your boy a big old like comment what you think about rank three diablo in the comment section below i'm hoping to get this guy duped as soon as possible not doing round two of arena um no way dude uh the first grind was 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 uh was a lot so not doing round two but yeah um diablo freaking awesome man uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of diablo make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss it uh versus the champion boss video coming out very 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 soon uh yeah so don't miss that one that was a lot of fun i'll be seeing you around